Good morning, good morning, family. Come on in, amen. It is about that time. And welcome to our Marketplace Daily Devotion. Let me tell you, um, <laughs> this devotion today, God is so good. Uh, we're going to be talking about an appointed place. And as I was up meditating on this word and actually uh, oh, probably going to be uh, just meditating on it most of the day because I really feel that this is something that God want me to uh, put forth emphasis on to the body of Christ. And, uh, and, and what that word is, is... Um, how important it is for us to be in the right place and position in this season. I, I can't stress that uh, to you enough. I'm just feeling that so strong in my spirit because in this season and in this particular place that we're in, it is going to take totally trusting God and faith. And, and what we are have been familiar with and what we are used to and what we have been doing in the past uh, may not necessarily, and, and I will probably go as strong and boldly to say, will not probably work in this season. And so it's going to be very uncomfortable because you're going to be in a, a new place. But let me tell you, the place that you're going to be in, if you allow God, it will be the appointed place. And you will see that in this scripture that I'm going to read, hallelujah, because I tell you, this devotion was, was really good. And, and, and I want you to also know that whenever I come to you with a devotion or with a word or prophetic word or whatever, God has, you know, he checks me first. You know, I, 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 I am the first one that is on the altar saying, God, is any of that is in me, take it out. Uh, uh, created me a clean heart. God, let me be that vessel that, that can honor you, that, that would be an honored vessel. And so our, our, um, daily devotion, uh, text or scripture this morning, it's going to be coming from Deuteronomy, the 13th chapter and the 11th verse, but I felt led to do the 11th and 12th. I usually only do one verse, but I felt very strongly this morning to do the two. And it reads, and all Israel shall hear and fear and shall do no more any such wickedness as this is among you. So there were some things that was going on among the children of Israel that was just some wicked things. And, 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 you know, when we hear the word wicked, we think of, you know, something that's to so totally, totally, totally bad, like maybe a, a killer or, 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 or somebody that's doing something that's really, really, you know, uh, uh, really bad. But wickedness uh, can just be you simply not obeying God time after time after time. Simply not obeying God is something that he's been leading you to do, telling you to do, and you're just going to do it your way. And so this is what was going on with the children of Israel. And, and God says, and, 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 and shall do no more. He says, you got to hear. Hear in the Hebrew, as I told you yesterday, it means to obey. If, if you say that God has told you to do something, or you, you know, you're saying, oh, I hear God, I hear God but your actions is not obeying him, then you're really not hearing. And so he's telling them to hear, O Israel, and fear, and shall do no more any such wickedness uh, as this is among you. He's letting them know that this is among you. And this is among uh, the people of God today in the church. And so he says, and thou shalt eat before the Lord thy God, okay, because you got to come, you, you, you got to come clean before God. He says, and thou shalt eat before the Lord thy God. This is what I want you to hear. In the place which he shall choose to place his name. <laughs> he says, you're going to eat before me, but it's going to be in the place that he is going to choose to place his name. When God plays his name, amen, hallelujah, that's, that, that says something right there. That says something right there because you know what? Uh, there is no other name higher than his. When he places his name, that says something. And it says, there is there the tithe of the corn and of the wine and of the oil 
And that's a whole nother different message, so I'm not going to get into that. But that's talking about, you know, your tithe represent, you know, uh, uh, what you what you earn and what you do. That's giving God back the tenth that belongs to him so that he can bless the ninety. Hallelujah. The wine, your health. The oil, your the, the anointing that rests upon your life. He says, uh, and the firstlings of thy herd and of thy flock. And thou mayest learn to fear the Lord thy God always. So the definition and, and the, the word that we want to focus emphasis on this morning is the place. Because like I said, it's very essential that you be in the place that you need to be in in this season. And so the, the Hebrew word for place is makom. It is M-A-W-K-O-M-E, makom. Okay, and it means a standing place, a locality, a specific spot. Are you in the spot that God has called you to be in? <laughs> a region, a space, land, or city. You know, that there may be some that's listening that God has been dealing with you about moving to another city. And, and, and like he told Abraham, get up and, and, and leave your countrymen, but you have not obeyed God. Because of fear. You know, it, it, it represents, the, the place represents a, a room. You know, a place of human abode. Maybe, you know, the living conditions that you're in, you know, you've given your life to the Lord. And maybe, you know, you, you've been shacking or you've been with uh, a man. But, you know, your living conditions has not afforded you the, the, the resources to move. And so maybe you just have to go to another room for a minute until you're able to move out. But. Whatever that, that that place is, God is saying, are you in that place in this season to be blessed? Because if God is telling you to go right and you're still wanting to go left, following your flesh, then you're going to miss the opportunities that God has for you. And we're living in, in a time where, listen, there's there's so many demonic uh, 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 things that are going on and... and, and, and <laughs> That we don't need to miss where God is telling us to be. If he says, don't go there, we need to not go. If he says, go, we need to find ourselves going, being busy about what God is telling us to do. So in this story, just so I go ahead and get to my little story because, you know, I, uh, I'm telling you that this, this is an awesome word. And I hope that those who are listening are, are hearing what the spirit of God is telling you. In this story, the Lord is dealing with apostasy, okay, which is the rejection of Christ by one who has been a Christian. You might notice that in, in these times, there are a lot of men and women of God who've been, you know, who've been in, in ministry for a long time. They're, they're throwing in the towel. They're giving up. They're walking away. And now that they've walked away, you know, whatever caused them to walk away, they're trying to lead you astray in a way. But in this story, uh, God is dealing with that, with the children of Israel. And he's telling them how to handle that, which is to separate. If you, you, if you have any prophets or dreamers or anybody coming to you trying to entice you away from the things of God, you need to cut them out. You need to, well, in, in Deuteronomy, he told them to kill them. But death is just a separation. So you need to separate yourself. I'm not telling you to go out there and hurt anybody or harm anybody, but separate yourself. One of the oldest, most common ways that this spirit comes through in, uh, comes in through is idolatry. And now I'm not talking about so much a husband cheating on his wife or a wife cheating on, 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 on their husband in the natural, but, and it can be that way as well. But I'm more so talking about, uh, uh, when we, when we commit adultery against God. Uh, in the Bible, it is symbolized as Israel, the faithless spouse. OK, turning away from Yahweh, her marriage partner. <laughs> yes, God is our husband. He's our partner. When we give our life to the Lord, he becomes our mate. And, and, and it talks about how Israel pursued the advances of other gods. And you can go back and read over Jeremiah, the second chapter, and you'll be able to see what I'm talking about in more detail. And so, um, this, this, uh, what I'm wanting to really bring out in this devotion, because there's a lot here to unpack and I don't have so much time here, but there is an appointed place. 
This is what I want you to take away from this devotion. There is an appointed place which God has chose to place his name. Okay? God's name is his reputation. It is his signature. It is his stamp of approval. It is his reputation uh, that is on the line because, you know, it's just like a, a, a king has a signet ring that is his seal. When he puts his name there, that's like sealing that thing. That's stamping that thing. And God's name is on the line, people, because he is eternal. He is never changing. He is the all wise God. Jesus, I'm just compassionate today. I feel this in my spirit. He, he says, you shall eat. This is what he told the children of Israel. And this is what he's telling you today. You shall eat before the Lord thy God in the place that he shall choose. Now, let me just, let me just say right here. It's the place that he shall choose. See, the problem that we have is that we've been trying to choose the place. You know, we've been trying to dictate to God, you know, where to bless us, how to bless us, and when to bless us. Yeah, we have. And, and, and I'm guilty. But God is saying he is going to bless you in the place that he chooses. And so really, the, <laughs> it ain't but one thing for you to do if you want to be blessed. And that is go to where he's at. Okay? <laughs> go to where he's at. Hallelujah. The place uh, that, that, that he is choosing is a place of obedience, a place of holiness, a place of truthfulness, honesty, integrity, loyalty. Is your character reflecting the character of God? Are you choosing to live in that place, in that space? Are you doing what you want to do, pleasing your flesh? God says, separate yourself from those things or those people. Because some of you, you may be doing what you're supposed to do, but you know, you, you're hanging around people who are not. And God is saying, it's time to separate yourself, amen, from those prophets, those dreamers, people who try to tell you, uh, let's go this way after other gods. You know, things that you know uh, is not pleasing to God. In a direction that you know is not pleasing to God. And most of the time, money is the root cause. That's leading people away from God. God says, for all that is in the world. This is the word of God. He says, for all that is in the world. The lust of the flesh. The lust of the eyes. And the pride of life is not of the Father, but of the world. These are, you know, Satan is not doing anything different than what he's done from the beginning of time. If it ain't your eyes getting you in trouble, you got to guard your ear gates. Guard your eyes. Guard, guard your gates, I should say, period. What you say out of your mouth, what you see with your eyes, what you hear with your ear. Guard your heart with all diligently, the Lord tells us. Satan is not doing anything new. He's still tripping people up with the same three things. Lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. God says that's not of the Father, but of the world. And this world is going to pass away. You better believe it. It's going to pass away. But he that does the will of the Father shall abide forever. Are you doing his will? Are you in the will of the Father? Are you sure? Have you prayed and fasted and said, God, let me be sure. Is this what you're calling me to do? Because he will make it known. He will make it so evident to you. That's the appointed place. That's what I want to say to you today. That is the appointed place that God has for you in this season. It's being in his will. It does not matter what's going on around you. All right. God will cause people to come around you to, 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 um, to test your, the character that's in you. So you can see what you're made out of. But don't allow them to change you. Don't allow them to, to, uh, to get your focus off what God has called you to do. 
Keep your focus on God. Remain in the appointed place. Remain in the place that God has chosen for you because that's the only place he's going to put his name and his stamp of approval on. Okay? So I know I went a little bit over today, but I sure hope this blessed you because, like I said, God's name is his reputation and his reputation is on the line. Hallelujah. He's just looking for a vessel that he can show himself mighty through. He's just looking for a vessel that his manifestations can be shown through. The whole earth and, and, and creation, God says, is waiting for the sons of God. Are you a son? I'm a son. Hallelujah. I know that I am a son of God. I am a daughter of God. Are you a son? And, and, and God, there's no gender, so that's why I say son, because you know we're talking about the spirit. Are you? Do you carry the spirit of God on the inside of you? Because the only thing that matters is that you being in that place that He wants you to be, whether it's at that job or whether it's in your home or whether it's in that ministry, whatever space and place that God has put you in in this season, find yourself occupying it and let everything else and everybody else go. Don't allow space in your mind for the enemy to take place. Separate people from around you that's negative and cannot cannot appreciate and cannot uh, 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 applaud you. Can, can can you know you have some people that it's all about them, but they cannot ever, amen. They cannot ever applaud you and appreciate you. Separate yourself from the negativity and be about your father's business. Okay? This lady tries to say, I love you. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you for this beautiful Wednesday, Father God. Oh, Lord, we thank you for being our eternal God. We thank you, Father, for being a God who never changes. Thank God you're a God who never changes. God, when we're dealing with people who change day in and day out, who dealing with people that you can't count on from one minute to the next, God, we thank you that you are a never changing God. We thank you, Father God, that you're an all Oh, wise God. Oh, God, when we can't figure things out, you give us the wisdom. You said if any man lacked wisdom, all he got to do is ask of you, and you would give it freely. God, we thank you for being the all wise God. We thank you, Father, for choosing a place for us. <laughs> oh, yes, God, when they counted us out, God, you counted us in. <laughs> oh, God, when they said they didn't have no room, God, you said, come on over here. I got room for you. Thank you for choosing a place for us, God, a place that your love dwells, a place that your protection dwells, a place that your compassion and mercy dwell. Thank you, Father God, hallelujah, for choosing a place. Oh, Father, I feel your anointing. Oh, Lord, help us to circumcise and separate our hearts from those things, God, that turn our minds and, and that turn our hearts away from you. Help us, God, to rid ourselves, God. Give us the strength, God, when we can't find it within ourselves. To rid ourselves of people and things that turn our affections away from you. Oh, God. Oh, God, help us, Lord Jesus. Help us. Help us today, God. I feel this. Somebody needs your help that's listening to this today, God. Oh, God, the enemy is, is always tormenting their minds with what he say, she say. But God, help us to rid ourselves, God, of those tormenting spirits. I bind them in the name of Jesus. I come against them in the name of Jesus. And God, I release your peace, your peace that surpasses all understanding right now to the listeners of this, of this daily devotion today. Give them the peace that they need, that they can sleep, God. Give them the peace. Give them the peace. I speak peace to you today. Peace to you. I don't know who I am sensing or picking up, but I speak peace to you today from those tormenting spirits. You are value. God does love you. You are loved. You are appreciated. Stop hanging around people who don't value you. It's all about them. Hallelujah. Because God loves you. He loves you. In Jesus' name. 
Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Sorry I went over the 15-minute break. I know, amen, these are designed for marketplace people who are working and only have a short time, but maybe you can go back and listen to it if you didn't get to listen to all of it at another time. But I love you so much. Please remember to share, like, and subscribe. This is Lady O here saying smooches. Mwah.